Hey, what's up? John Sanmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got a question uh, from Joy, and Joy asks, she says, learn by doing method uh, goes very slow wrong or unaccomplished? <laughs> that's, that's the question. Uh, and she's got some additional info here and, and she basically says that, you know, uh, she's been working on, on, on an interview and in, in creating a, 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 a page, like a, a web page for an interview in a single day and she's been, you know, basically you know, trying to figure out bootstrap and pay, pagination and going through and going through stack overflow and it's really, really slow. So, you know, extracting from, from a question here, learn by doing method goes very slow, uh, wrong or, or unaccomplished. What, what does that mean? So, I'm going to extract a little bit from this because I've gotten a lot of questions around this, right? So I often advocate that what you should do is that you should learn by doing, right? And I, I've talked about this before. The learning myth, uh, the, the learning styles is a myth, right? There's there's no such thing as an auditory or a visual learner, right? Or or any of those things. We all learn best by doing, okay? And but. A lot of people have problems with this because they say, well, wait, 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 wait a minute, okay, when I learn by doing, when I jump in, right, I always tell you guys, you need to jump in and get in over your head, right? A lot of people say, well, that's slower. That's slower because what ends up happening is I struggle my way through it, whereas if someone would have just taught me the right way to do things from the beginning, or I would have read up on this a little bit, I would have been educated enough to avoid all the pitfalls and I don't have to spend all my time Googling for answers and, and really bumbling my way through things, right? I mean, d d be honest, do you, does this ring a bell? Do you, do you feel like this is, is true? I, I felt like this at times, but I've got a solution for you. So I wanna talk about this. So I still think that learning by doing is the best thing to do, but and, and, I, and I talk about this, I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a resource, a course that I put together in a minute here if you haven't heard of it, but, but I talk about it in this course. But the idea is basically this, right? What you want to do, okay, what you want to do to accelerate your learning as much as possible, right? And I know that's what you want to do, that's what we all want to do, is you want to jump in into water that's over your head, that's too deep for you, right? And you want to start by doing, and you're going to be confused and you're going to bumble your way through it. And you, you start off that way. But once you've done that for a little bit, right? Once you've gotten started and once you've trying to figure things out on your own without outside help, right? Learning by doing, trial by fire, you could call it like that. Then you go back and you find the resources or, or then you go back and you consult the resources. Maybe you found them ahead of time, but you consult the resources and you read the book or you watch the tutorial or you find the, the information, okay? And what happens, and this is key, this is how you learn. This is how you go from, from just reading something to really understanding it. What happens when you do it that way is, think about it this way, right? When you struggle with something, okay? Have you ever, have you ever struggled with something in your life, right? And you didn't know how to do it and you're trying to figure this out all by yourself, right? And then you find the book that, that explains it. Or then you find the mentor, someone who knows how to do this and explains it to you and then and they're like, oh, okay, I get that. Oh, I see, I see that's why we had to do this, right? Have you been through that process? I've been through that process a lot of times, right? That's the best way to learn. But, but here's the thing. If you, if you went in the other order, it'd be a lot more comfortable for you, right? You're only, you're only growing when you're, when you're uncomfortable, by the way. You can check out a video I did on this called Five Soft Skills Every Software Developer uh, Should Learn. It's a, a talk I did at Xamarin Conference. But essentially, you're only gonna grow when you're comfortable. And so the thing is, if you did it the opposite order, if you had someone explain to you how it's supposed to go and how it's work, or you read the book first, you're not gonna know what information is important. But the key is, see, when you go through and you, you fumble on your own, and you try it on your own, you don't know what you're doing, and it's a big mess, and then you go back and you get the information, you have a bunch of questions, right? And you get answers to your questions, and that's the key. Once you get those answers to your questions, okay, you get a really deep understanding. Then you know what you need to know, and you know why, right? Because when I teach you something, if I just teach you something without you having struggled, without you having tried to do it on your own, you don't know what that I'm saying is important. It doesn't, it's not impactful, it's not meaningful to you. But if you try to do something, right, and you kind of failed at it or it was hard for you and it was uncomfortable and you had a bunch of questions like why does it work this way or is this the best thing to do? So you've got all these questions in your head. Now 
if you just ask me, right, you can just ask me questions or you can look for the answers to those questions and you're going to say, oh, okay, that makes sense, all right, and that's, it, you're going to register that better. Or even if you read a book, you're going to say, oh, well, I see, that's how you're supposed to do it, right, and then you're going to get that information It's going to stick with you. Do you see what I'm saying? That's the big difference here. So I promised I'd tell you about a resource. So I put together a program. It's called 10 Steps to Learn Anything Quickly. You can check it out here. Thousands of people have, have gotten the course, and, and I, I have to tell you, like, that's what I teach in the course. It's basically how to go through this process, right? This is the only way to shortcut your learning process. It's not going to happen. You're, you're not going to plug into the matrix, right? Some people uh, have asked for a refund on the course because it doesn't, it doesn't uh, fucking put a jack into your head so that you can download information into your brain. It doesn't work that way. There's, <laughs> so I'm sorry, but there's no like, learning hack that's going to just make you suddenly uh, super genius. But, but I'll tell you, the sink or swim method, right, if you do this right, if you, if you follow the process, and you've got a good process of, of reducing the scope, one of the things I talk about in the course, and you know, getting jumping in over your head, right? Learning on your own first, and then going back and filling in the gaps, and then teaching it actually, which, which we didn't talk about in this video, which is also another important step. If you go and do that, that's honestly that's the best way that you're gonna learn. That's the quickest way that you're gonna learn. But but the secret is is to do this, right? Even though it's uncomfortable, I know it's uncomfortable, it's uncomfortable and it seems slower. But you have, to, you have to follow up with the next step, right? You struggle on your own, and then you find the resources, then you find the help, that answers your questions, then you solidify what you're learning, and, and it makes sense to you, okay? So anyway, that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, make sure you click that subscribe button today. Click it today, yes, and click the bell so you don't miss any videos. I'll talk to you next time.